Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra out Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. It's Wednesday and the market is moving very nice. Whoa. The market was actually reversing yesterday, which is a good thing. But you know what? We were caught on a Euro USD trade and the market was just reversing and non-stop. But that to me, I think it's a good thing. Uh, as we are still on that uptrend, we can able to get back and have that nice buy. But before we continue on that, we have a special for you. So this is going to last for very few people. Let's say if only, um, or let's just run this for a month. Uh, we can say, I did this before actually. So I did have that special uh, last month, I think. So you can see we have our 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 services here you can see that uh, one month is 30 dollars until uh, you reach lifetime so what we're going to do here is you're going to have to to give yourself a discount except except or excluding one month so it means if maybe you want to join six months and it's uh, it's 150, you can say, Kenzo, uh, I have this much, uh, can I join? Uh, but don't just be selfish, guys, and say, okay, Kenzo, I want to join six months, but I just have $10. You can see that it's not really, a, it's not a discount, you see. So let me know if you want to be part of the, the, the team until month end, but it's going to be limited for few people. Uh, because we can just take thousand people so if maybe it's going to be limited for 20 sorry for 50 people and um, i can run this for i know if it, it might take a month so i will run this until month end so which means if you want for uh, a lifetime you can say okay, so i have this much i i can afford this much i want yearly but i have this much so i don't know how much you have but you can you know how much you have and you know the discount that you want so you have chance for that so you don't say i did not really tell you about that right so uh you can see the signals that we cover and then mentorship is there for those who wants to join mentorship you can see it's mentorship is 450 and sorry mentorship is 350 and lifetime it's 450 if you want to join both of them you're just going to join that with one price like you're going to use uh, pay 450 then you have discount of 350 so that's great that's great so you can scan this qr code uh, you can pause the video you can scan this qr code then you can start to be part of the team you can let me know or just whatsapp me so i think you heard that you discount yourself you have the freedom to discount yourself you know how much you have we don't know so but not on one month guys on one month it's it's 30 dollars it stays like that so let's run straight to to the economic news and see what's really happening on the economic news <coughs> sorry you can easily see that we uh, it's it's when it's wednesday and you will see that on wednesday we have pmi around five o'clock and we have fomc meeting uh, later on that might actually give the market to move a little bit on Thursday, we have um, not really much unemployment claims from the U.S. And Friday, we'll be waiting for this and uh, uh, NFP. So I think we have to eat there. We have to do something. We have to do something. We have to do something. Let's see next week if maybe we're going to have CPI. Okay, yeah, next week we're going to have CPI. It's going to be a very nice one. It's going to be a very nice one. So just make sure that you save your your funds here and there so that maybe you can you can trade the news for those who don't really understand the news and stuff uh, i think i will be doing a video on the other channel if you're subscribed you will you will see that uh, uh, video i'll be talking about technicals and fundamentals uh the differences the advantages here and there then yeah so what's really happening on the market without wasting enough time uh, dxy on dxy you can easily see that the market it was pushing up the market was reversing yesterday but the bigger picture here is we are still on a downtrend the market is still actually on a downtrend do you see that we are still on that downtrend which means which means this reversal here is not this uh, it's not different from i want this thing to fit on the screen it's not different from 
sorry from any of these reversals there you see that even here we're gonna have the same thing and the market can still sell and once the market sell like that it's where we're gonna see some serious bullish momentums on nasdaq on on gold but gold gold sometimes doesn't really care about uh, this dxy sometimes you see but the bigger picture here is since we have a push like this i'm expecting the market to respect this level this level here and maybe around around this level or around that resistant it's where i'm expecting the market to respect before we see a proper sell maybe that will happen today or maybe tomorrow the market might just play around that level uh, the market might consolidate it's possible so yeah i'm expecting to see a very nice push but yeah the market started crazy yesterday here yeah? The market started crazy. Whoever who is in our team understand what I'm talking about. You know what? Uh, yesterday, if you checked my analysis, I I was talking about uh, USDZAR, but I forgot to give my people the signal. You can see that we were talking about this support area, and I said the market might push the upside, and the market did. Remember, this is a daily time frame, but the bigger picture is still the same. Uh, we can easily see that yes the market is still on this nice uptrend the market is still pushing up uh, nicely so what we see is i still see a continuation of this buy i think it's a good thing i think it's a good thing if we look at what might happen on an nfp i think it's a good thing why because now if the market is pushing up you see if the market is gonna push up it means maybe on friday uh, which is in two days, the market might be able to give us a very nice sell, even though we are still continuing on that uptrend. So I think I, I welcome this push. Uh, that might give us another uh, a bearish uh, dollar. But this, I don't I don't know if you understand that. If you go on, uh, on DXY, you will see that the market is going up. Uh, the market is this is a daily time frame you see that so this gives us a room or gives uh, nfp a room to say to say what if maybe i saw already on the estimates that there is a chance that the numbers might go down and if it goes down it will be aligning with the structure so if it goes down it means we will see the market going down from that and on the other pairs obviously we will see the market doing what buying but for now before that obviously the market will be trying to do it the market will be trying to go up or down on the other pairs like if it's is usds are like this expect the market to push a little bit even higher maybe to reach this level until th uh, friday where maybe we might see the market pushing lower please rem remember this because this might happen yes i might be wrong here and there but i'm expecting uh, that to happen so on USD zip, uh, ZAR, I'm still bullish currently, but the market is far from that uh, support, which means I will just wait for it to come back around that support before we look for a buy. But what we know is this gives us a good chance to do what? To come back and buy, if it, uh, come back and sell on NFP, but don't sell on USD ZAR because uh, the structure there is already on that uptrend. Do you see that? I hope you understand that. So what's really happening on USD ZAR, uh, USD JPY? On USD JPY, the market is straightforward. We are on this nice downtrend. Uh, this is a very, very nice downtrend. Uh, let's push it a little bit. Yeah. So you can see that, yes, we have some very nice structures. Uh, going down for quite some time yeah this the market did touch this area several times so where we are now it's a good time for us to uh, to, to look for another sell why because every time the market reaches uh, this resistance we know what happens we know what happens every time the market touches there we know that the market start to melt even here the market might start to do that but remember for those who don't know mostly the market acts uh, weird especially before some high impact news if maybe we have nfp on friday the market might react like this you see the wow the market was moving here the market might just consolidate and come that day boom the market might continue very nice why i'm saying this we are on a downtrend and i think some since we have nfp which is like 
only one day left actually so i think the market might actually play around before we see a proper sell mostly the market technically the market will align with fundamentals if if the news are going to be negative yes we will see uh, the market going dollar uh, going down if the dollar is going to lose some momentum if not obviously we're not going to say the market might not break no if if the market is trying uh, let's say maybe the dollar is gonna be stronger obviously the market will break out of that uh, downtrend and start to push the upset and if maybe you did sell uh, on the news obviously you might take a, lo uh, a loss there and there's nothing wrong with that as long as you are here still very early it's still very early just plan your things this year we're still gonna very, uh, we're gonna eat very nice you see so we're gonna smash uh, uh, um, fundamentals and also technicals will be on our uh, it's our daily bread actually a fundament a, a technical so gbp usd what's really happening not much not much not much not much so but you can see that yes the market you uh, pushed lower yesterday you can see we have a buy pending order there um but the market seems to be respecting this level which is something that i like there so you can see that yes the market did give us a proper uh, a, a uptrend so i'm expecting to see the market pushing to the upside yes the market might not push up aggressively because since the market touched this level you can see that uh, we had a proper we can say one two three maybe and this is the fourth area on the fourth area the market we have maybe more than three candlesticks playing around that and the market might continue like that even though we see maybe a sort of uh, pushing up you can see let me remove this you will see that we have one two three four and this is the fifth uh, candlestick or if i even i count even if i can count this uh, candlestick now we have six and it's four hours four hours so how many uh, hours are that uh, three is 12 uh, is 12 16 uh, it's actually 20 hours there it's actually 20 hours there so which means the market is just playing around here if i did not calculate nice you can do the math but you can see the market is just playing around and the market can do that it can push up a little bit like this then friday it doesn't matter where the direction is gonna go but on friday we might see a proper push the upside or maybe to the downside but i am expecting to see a very nice bullish move but where we are now i can say yes the market might push up very nice we are on a very nice support we still have that buy pending order so yeah i think we are still on a very uh we are still as long as the market is not breaking anything there we're good to go yeah so on this one uh, it's euro usd yeah you, yesterday we got it wrong on euro usd but we're still here we're still going to smash the market so i think you can see what's really happening here so we had a very proper proper uh as a resistant here you can see from that area and the market was playing around that the market was playing around this area i expected the market to push the upside guess what the market just went against that and i think the market did touch our 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 order so when we check the market is still on a very nice uptrend by the way it's not really something bad you can see that so we're still going to buy even though the market did reverse so i was expecting maybe i think that will still happen i'm expecting maybe to see the market trying to reach the list this level of support before maybe we see the market pushing to the upside yes that sell was um was welcomed even though even though yes we we had a buy pending order uh, that was not really nice but uh, this sell gives us another chance for us to do what to look for that buy so but i will just relax um where i can see the market is respecting it's not a really a stronger support or something i will prefer it to actually go to the stronger support which is going to be on this diagonal so i don't know when it's gonna reach that but we will just uh, flow with the structure we're not going to just do our own thing we will follow the structure if maybe the market is showing us that now i'm trying to push the upside maybe i'm respecting this area we're gonna respect that and we're gonna follow that and it seems like the market is already respecting that you see so we're not going to do our own thing just because uh, the market uh, is not uh maybe aligning with our with the way we think we're just going to follow the structure so now we are on gold what's really happening on gold the market is still pushing to the upside but we have a nice reversal i thought maybe the market was going to reverse aggressively 
uh, as I saw Euro USD uh, also reversing, but no, gold was very strong up. And that is a good thing. At least we went, uh, the market went a bit lower. Maybe we will see another push. But what I see here is the market has a very nice, we have a very nice support here. So which means there is a room for the market. Let me draw that again. There is a room for the market to do, to give us something. You see that maybe somewhere there. Uh, there is a room for the market to maybe continue selling. Or maybe if the market is aggressively on this uptrend, we might see a continuation of this trend going further. And that is something that we also want, right? We need to see the market pushing to the upside. I know, guys, this year we might see some very nice uh, uptrends. Yes, the reversals here and there they will be there. But while at the end of the day, we're still going to have some proper bullish. It's going to be a very bullish year, a very good bullish year. Uh, so that's for us who like to buy, especially Nasdaq, uh, we're just going to ride it until the end of time, right? So what's really happening here is uh, I see that the market, we also have this sort of uh, uh, support there. The market is moving like that. So the market can continue pushing up uh, on this support area. But uh, most likely there is going to be some consolidation. As you know, it's before NFP. Everyone... You, People, they don't really understand how big is NFP because there's businesses like investors or um, fund managers who are watching uh, on NFP closer. So they stay out of the market and they have chunk of cash, guys. They have billions and billions of dollars. So they stay out. That causes the market or forces the market not to move that much. Why? Because there is very few or very uh, liquidity uh, went lower if the liquidity stay out or stay stay out of the market most likely the market will just consolidate right so yeah but the bigger picture is we are still on that uptrend i'm still expecting the market to push up yes we might have reversal here and there i think today tomorrow it's better to stay out of the market so that you can be ready to eat on nfp i will stay out of the market i took a loss yesterday so I will stay out of the market. I will be waiting for NFP and CPI next week. So just to refresh my mind, it's still very new year, guys. So we don't really have to start on a bad note. Don't fight the market. Learn this. Once you lose, stay out of the market. Lose, stay out of the market. Win, stay out of the market. That will give yourself time to, to think. If you, may, if you win sometimes, you will feel like you control the market and you just go crazy. You end up losing everything. Similar when you lose. Sometimes when you lose, you feel like, no, I can get it back. Then you, you end up losing everything. You see. So, we are on US 30. What's really happening? <clears throat> Sorry. Hey. <clears throat> Trading forced me uh, to learn about teas, coffees. These days I drink coffee and teas, guys. Because I'm always on the market. I need to be calm or, or most of the time. Yeah. So now we are on US state What's really happening. Uh, we see that the market is pushing to the upside. This is a very nice uptrend. Guess what? The time you, uh, NASDAQ was uh, selling yesterday, uh, US state it was pushing up. So let's go closer there and see what happened. What happened? So you can see that, yes, uh, the market was a little bit higher yesterday. But the market did sell even before that. But hey, the market did a, a, a reverse very nice. The market reversed very quick. But we were not going to buy there, obviously. We were not going to buy there. Uh, the market, let, let the market do its thing. We have our resistance there. I'm still waiting for the market to reach this support um, area before maybe I think about buying. Or maybe the market will... Uh, thing uh, the market will think twice and break this area then we can continue buying that is possible uh, that is possible and that might happen if the market breaks th that resistance remember we are still on this uptrend so which means we are still looking for a very nice buy or maybe someone can say kenzo maybe you did not really see that let's try let's try to throw that uh no no we don't really have to throw that so I think, yeah, we are still on an uptrend. We have a resistance, we have a support. So that will 
uh, that will actually direct us which direction to take when to where we are obviously is no no let's wait until we see a breakout or maybe the market will reach the support then we can think about doing what uh, going bullish uh, or going long but for now for now uh, the market is still plain plain huh? so now we are on nasdaq what's really happening please guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends um yeah don't forget to smash that subscribe i think we left with 12 people um uh, to reach 7k please guys if you did not uh, smash that subscribe uh, don't forget to do that so uh, before i continue again guys you have we have a special but the special is you are in charge or you have the power in your hands to discount yourself i'm not going to say uh uh this much no you can say Kenzo, i need to join yearly or you can say 12 months but i have this much i have maybe 250 i have two something or whatever then let me know you have six you want to join six months tell me how much you want to join and this is going to last for a month so if you say Kenzo, you did not really give, give us some chance uh, i think you'll be no uh, i think you i don't know i don't know but except one month one month uh, one month it's 30 dollars stays like that you can start to do your discount from a second uh, the, the, the three months and a lifetime so if you want lifetime you can say okay so i have this much i think i can afford this much uh, can i join the team i will say yes so you can uh, smash i uh, sorry you can actually scan this qr code to be part of the team so if you want com uh, lifetime and maybe you also want mentorship. Guys, it's still January. You still have time to learn. It is still January. You still have time to learn. Just imagine for this three months and you give yourself time. Uh, three days a week. Uh, we meet every uh, every week. Uh, three days a, a, a week, sorry. Just imagine when you reach June there, you will be good. You will be a different person. Yes, I, I, I like the signal also but i think mentorship is everything so but for i'm just advising advising you to go with the mentorship there is no discount on mentorship but if there's a discount only if you want to join a lifetime signals and also mentorship then the price is going to be only 450 which means you stay in 350 so but on this uh the signals here you have the chance of uh, just to discount yourself i never saw that before i never saw it anywhere where everyone can just choose how much they want to pay you actually choosing you see so uh while we are still on that i'm still providing 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 you with some free signals i for forgot to talk about that i will put the link uh, in the description uh, yeah on the description there is a there is a free uh, link for free signal uh, there's a telegram group telegram group where i'm going to send some free signals so on the free signals guys don't expect to get five signals per day i can send one sometimes i might, I might not really send because there's people who paid who want those signals so i might send two or one so there's nothing wrong with that so yeah you can just check that on the description so on nasdaq you can see that yeah we are flying we are still on this uptrend but the market did reverse on us yesterday so luckily enough i think we did not really yeah we had a buy pending order the market did not really trigger that if you still remember i did talk about these areas yesterday if you still remember i talked about if maybe the market will respect this area or maybe this area or maybe this support area do you still remember and it seems like very quick the market went straight to this area here so it means like we need to have a proper support a, a proper pending order uh, that we can say you know what uh, from this area we missed it when it was here so but we're not going to miss it when it pu is pushing to the upside like that so i'm expecting to see a very nice push so we're not going to adjust our support area uh, because that still respects our support area this is no longer valid we're going to remove that but you can easily see that this is the reversal that everyone was waiting for but mostly the market might go slower uh, as we expect some uh, 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 fundamentals but i saw 
Apple shares yesterday, they were like seriously selling so many stuff. They were like seriously going down. Maybe that will change today. We will see what will happen. But I think on Friday, we're still going to see a very nice push. So you have to, you also have to check those uh, companies, how they're performing, because you can see this sell. If you don't know what's really happening there, you might just fight the market, but you might fight, you might find that the companies are selling. And if maybe they keep selling, we might still see a, a continuous uh, sell going further. But besides that, guys, thank you very much. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. I have a different channel. I hope you did subscribe to that. I will send on the comment section. I will also send that link where I'm just going to talk about other things. But today, I think I will be talking about technical analysis and fundamental analysis. So thank you very much. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Bye.